Mr. Smith is a 62-year-old uh, patient uh, presenting uh, with recurrent uh, colorectal cancer. Um, the patient initially was diagnosed at age uh, 55. Uh, where he presented with uh, near obstruction. Um, the patient had a colonoscopy at the time, showed uh, a right-sided uh, tumor that was ulcer ulcerated and somewhat obstructing. Uh, went to the operating room. Uh, this was resected. Uh, was found to be uh, T T3 N1. And no, ev no evidence of metastatic disease at the time. He received adjuvant Folfox, did well. Uh, for a while um, and then presented uh, back uh, at age 62 with uh, elevated liver function tests. There was a concern that uh, his cancer was recurrent. He got a PET CT, showed multiple lesions in the liver, nowhere else at the point at the time. Uh, a biopsy of one of the liver lesions suggested that this was a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma, very consistent with colon primary, so very consistent with uh, his cancer that was diagnosed a few years prior. Um, genomic analysis showed evidence of uh, KRAS and RAS uh, wild type, uh, as well as BRF wild type, and this was a microsatellite stable uh, tumor. Um, you know, when digging a little bit into his family history and his social history, the patient uh, you know was a previous smoker. Uh, he was somewhat somewhat obese. Uh, his, his family history didn't carry any uh, uh, history of cancer uh, that uh, would put him at risk. So this, uh, discussion, uh, uh, a discussion with the patient ensued. The patient had previously been exposed to, uh, to Folfox and the decision was uh, uh, to start him on Folfiri and uh, uh, Bevacizumab. Note that the patient had residual grade one neuropathy, which was very tolerable but we decided anyways to proceed with full The patient is uh, 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 somewhat in the younger uh, category of patients, although uh, you know, at above age 50, we, we expect the risk of colorectal cancer about 55 definitely, but above between 50 and 55, we expect the risk of colorectal cancer to increase. Um, in digging into the history of the patient, uh, there's not much that uh, actually put him at a risk from the genetic or inherited risk factors. Of course, uh, issues like obesity, perhaps smoking, uh, uh, processed meat consumption, overconsumption, uh, all these are, have somewhat been associated with an increase of colorectal cancer. But overall, I think given the age of the patient, he falls in, in what we call the low risk category uh, for developing colon cancer. And we uh, essentially, just looking at, at the risk factors, we think that there are very few identifiable other than loosely, again, obesity or history of smoking.